Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. In this video, I want to talk about the differences between the male and female pelvis. So there actually are very few bones where you see major differences between the male and female, but this is going to be the one. Um, this is all. This is why this is the bone that's the best, or the bones that's the best for determining sex uh, of a skeleton. Uh, two glaring differences: the you know males generally uh, the male pelvis is going to be thicker and heavier because m carrying more body weight, more muscle, that kind of thing. But everything about the female pelvis is all about that birth canal. So the female pelvis is going to be wider than the male pelvis, even though the male pelvis is bigger and the and the bones are thicker. The female pelvis is going to be wider. You can tell that by looking at the, di the distance between the anterior superior iliac spines. It's going to be so the female pelvis is going to be wider. The ischial tuberosities in a female on the back there where we're sitting right now are also going to be farther apart. So another clear difference is the subpubic angle is going to be greater than 80 degrees in a female, less than 70 degrees in a male. So the distance between the anterior superior iliac spines and the subpubic angle are the two key things to remember as far as what makes the female pelvis wider. Other key difference, the sacral promontory or the front of that sacrum is actually uh, not as anterior in a female, again, to make that birth canal larger, and that's why that um, you, you see the pelvic cavity itself, that pelvic brim or pelvic inlet is going to be much more oval and larger and more like heart-shaped um, in the male. So it's all about the, the room for the baby there in the birth canal. So those are the key differences between the male and female pelvis. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.